Ricky the Dragon Hong here for After Buzz TV. We're at the season two premiere of GLOW. What you gonna do when Ricky the Dragon Hong and the gorgeous ladies of wrestling run wild on you? Hi, you are? <laughs> Rick, I'm just good oh, to see you again. Hi, hi buddy. So, you know, so this is awesome because I... Uh, you went and saved the best for last. How old were you in that? Oh, wow. Uh, 10 or 11. You couldn't stop me from singing at my uh, sleepaway camp, could you? <laughs> Dude, I, lo I love all your, all your singing. You. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I'm glad someone loves it because it's never stopping. Uh, great. Um, so, Organza? Always. Is this Organza? No, you know, <laughs> I think I got a little Mario Lopez on the shoulder, though. <laughs> oh, nice. I was on air with Mario this morning, and I got a little of his those dimples on my on my puff sleeve. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. All right. So, how was season two? I'm, what did you stay up it's after midnight? So good. No, no. no did you, I, I was up till three. I was wondering if you were up past like five o'clock watching I the whole was season. Up at five a.m. To, to do things today, press things, and so I was not able to stay up past midnight and watch the show. However, I have seen the show. Oh, I'm okay. on. Ah, yes, I'm on the show. So they sent it to me um, to do, so I could be able to talk about it for press and stuff like that. So I saw it maybe a few weeks ago, and good criminy, we made a good show. Well, I loved your uh, constipation storyline. I mean, come on, I can't. I was quoting that to someone this morning, and it's so much grosser to talk about that it, when you see it, you get it. Melrose just says that. But as a human, to be like, and then at one point, the character says, and it's like, oh, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have just said that out loud. Okay, so after 10 years when the series wraps, um, are you gonna steal that jacket? It's always a thing. I mean, Ellen now feels like maybe it's kind of her jacket, and it's very real life that it is not her jacket, it is in fact my jacket. And the story about that is amazing is that our war our costume designer, Beth Morgan, she like online found some dude who's like an unbelievable airbrush artist who does like trucks and the sides of buildings on Slauson. And she called him and asked if he could do this jacket. And he was like, yeah, okay. Like that's not even like a thing he does. But she's such a visionary. She was like, the guy that draws on the side of trucks should paint on this jacket. So, okay, so how awesome is this? I mean, did you envision this for your, like, career to be a part of, like, a culture, like, a pop culture phenom of GLOW? And, like, now you're everywhere. I mean, like, you're at, what, WWE? You're at, uh, Drop the Mic? I mean, is, are you having fun? Yeah. It's the best. <laughs> it's a weird thing to say out loud that your dreams are coming true. I think we live in a society where, like, you can't be happy for yourself, or you're, like, gotta always struggle, and that's a big thing that I've, I've been acting since I'm nine, I'm in my 30s, and I have always struggled. And now that I have this fun thing, I have to remind myself, like, take a breath, you're actually not struggling right now. Stop acting. My brain and body just act like it's struggling because it always has. So now it's like, well, I get to talk to someone with a pink mic thing. It's like, oh. We're themed. We're yeah, themed. I'm, I'm not. Like, today is good. Like, relax. So I have to remind myself, actually. And, wait, and now you can tell everybody that you're actually not just an actress, not just a comedian, not just a singer, but a wrestler. I'm a wrestler. <laughs> Jackie, thank you so much.